When it comes to community spirit, do you, do you feel it here in Norfolk? 0800 389 7321 to give me a call. So because Norwich has been recently voted as one of the most community driven locations in the UK. And do you agree with this? What about the rest of the county as well when it comes to helping out your neighbours? And I know where I live, there just seems to be a lot of this going on now. There's a lot of community action, a lot of people just taking pride in where they live and wanting to make it a better place. And community spirit, of course, is at the heart of volunteering. And someone who knows a lot about this is Alan Lockley, who is the CEO of Voluntary Norfolk and joins me on the line now. Morning, Alan. Good morning, Kayleigh. Oh, it's great to have you on. I mean, this this is fab news, isn't it? That, that we're being recognised as being a place where, where we are community driven. So, I mean, is this something you see through through your role at Voluntary Norfolk? Oh, I, I, absolutely. I think Norfolk is a wonderful place to, to live. And I think a really big reason it is that strong sense of community. And we saw that during the pandemic. I mean, it's always been there, but we saw so many people come forward to help. We are voluntary in Norfolk. We had literally hundreds and hundreds of volunteers coming forward to help with vaccination rollout, delivering food, medicines, welfare calls, dog walking, you name it, a list of what people will do and, and did do and continue to do. It's been amazing. And, and we should be proud of that because that community spirit does help make this place a better place to live. And uh, we certainly know the benefits of volunteering for the individuals concerned and those communities and making those communities more vibrant and uh, as a result we are voluntary Norfolk very much support that community engagement that community spirit that you just referred to last scaly. And I think I mean modern life's quite busy I think now we're sort of coming out of the pandemic I think we're suddenly realizing again that our diaries fill up fast and, and, and we're quite guilty on we're sort of rushing around and doing lots of things and, and for many people I think that, that, that want to help is always there but sometimes logistically they, they, they sort of they, they don't quite find the time or they don't quite make that first move to actually volunteer and get involved but I mean it, it's a wonderful thing to do isn't it and I imagine from your volunteers you hear some fantastic stories of how it's changed their lives as much as the people they're helping oh, actually it's just changed my life absolutely it changed so many people's lives and because you know volunteering it, it builds those connections it allows people to meet others builds their confidence self-esteem and, and that sense of community but it also allows sharing of, of skills and knowledge that, that, that encourage others to enjoy things they may not have done before, in new crafts or, or, or the environment or wildlife, etc. But that, and also that learning that comes with it, that, that great sort of personal growth, allowing you to try those new things and increasing your skills. And, and by giving, it does give you a sense of real purpose and, and appreciation. And also get active. And, we see volunteering not only benefits communities but very strongly benefits those individuals that there's many thousands of volunteers that we recruit and support every year across Norfolk. And I think we, we have pride in our volunteers, don't we? I think volunteers themselves also kind of carry about this pride too, a pride in, in what they do, who they work with, and also where they live as well. Because this is sort of the, the, the crux of this, isn't it? We, we sort of top this list of just being a location that, that really is driven when it comes to sort of getting stuck in, wanting to make where we live a better place. And I think, you know, perhaps, uh, maybe it is because we live in such a beautiful, wonderful part of the world, perhaps it, this is the reason. But I think there's some places in the UK that, that you don't really, you don't really get a feel for, do you? You sort of, you sort of walk around and it doesn't feel like there's any projects. Whereas, you know, I've been walking around in and sort of walk at the nearest rail station as a community group that's made that look really nice. And then I'm walking back and you know, the litter pickers are off and they're making their community nice and then there's you know sort of transport going past the people that are helping drive people around and and, and it, it's almost infectious isn't it when you actually walk around and look at how much around you is powered just purely by volunteers it, it's incredible isn't it oh, it, it is I mean, it just lifts your spirits and just and just does so much but i mean an example of that is we deliver a service called uh, better together which is tackling loneliness in isolation which we know across the whole the UK is a real issue but one of the great ways to deal with that and what we do and we support as voluntary Norfolk is those community activities those community groups that be it everything from fishing to, to walking or crafts what we try to do at voluntary Norfolk is not only support those local groups but we obviously encourage people to to get involved in those local groups because that's one of the best ways possible to tackle that alone in isolation that we can all whatever 
great, you can feel at times, and that again makes this place, Norfolk, a better place to live. So having such active groups really is a great way to help tackle that loneliness and isolation to say that, that some people suffer from time to time. So it's great. And another thing we do is in Great Yarmouth, we have something called Freshly Greater, which is about arts, community arts, and, and supporting and getting people involved in arts they may never have done before, be it music or, or street theatre or arts. That again it encourages people to volunteer there, learn stuff, get active, get involved, make their own communities a better place for others to live in, as well as their own lives is enriched as a result of that. So we always encourage people to come forward. If you come forward to our website, you can, you can you click on there, we've got a new volunteer portal called uh, Get Involved, where there are literally hundreds of voluntary opportunities. And those opportunities you mentioned about people being busy, some people can just register for a couple of hours a week or even a couple of hours a month. Really, we work around what those individuals can give, where they can give it in their locality, because we want people to get involved. And it may only be dipping their toe in, but we'll support that to encourage them people that get such a lot out of it that many of those people then volunteer for the rest of their life as I and thousands of others do because we get a lot out of it and it makes our communities better. I think it's lovely to give something back and it's sometimes just the most simple things. You know, I, I, I of course do a lot of community theatre and, and last night we sort of had some ladies walk in and, and you know, you could tell they were sort of very, very nervous. There's sort of a big group of people they've never met before and suddenly I'm there making them dance and sing and do goodness knows what else. But, you know, suddenly it kind of it helps with confidence, doesn't it? And, and to make those friendship groups, I mean, some of my best friends are because of volunteering, whether it is, you know, drama activities or the scouts. You know, I probably wouldn't be married to my husband if it wasn't for voluntary activity. And, and, and it's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing the, the, the bonds and the friendships that you make along the way at the same time. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and because it is that interaction you do. You don't build those connections those, and that sharing and learning together. You, you do build those fantastic relationships. Uh, listen, Kelly, I wish you come and work with us at Monty in Norfolk because you sound brilliant. You sound a brilliant advocate for what we do and, and all the reasons and, and, the, and the values that you've said and the, what you've gained out of it is what we promote to the thousands of people who, who do love to volunteer across Norfolk every year and we want to support that, encourage that for all the reasons, Kelly, you've mentioned because they absolutely are true. People gain so much out of volunteering and our communities are not better, more vibrant, more inclusive places to live and, and that benefits everyone. And to be recognised for it as well nationally is all, always a good thing as well. We do, we have brilliant volunteers here in the county. So just give me those details again, Alan. So if you do want to sign up to Voluntary Norfolk, what, what's the easiest place to go? Very, very easy. Just go on to Voluntary Norfolk's website on the homepage there. If you're interested in volunteering, big red sort of push that and that will take you to hundreds of voluntary opportunities, not just within voluntary Norfolk, but across the whole of the voluntary sector in Norfolk. Uh, lots of, there are hundreds of opportunities on there now, and also with uh, strategy providers like libraries, like other parts of, of you know, the infrastructure of, of Norfolk. So wherever you want to volunteer, I'm, I'm, I'm confident we will find an opportunity for you. And if there isn't one on there now, if, they, if you put on your details, we will contact you when something comes up that matches what you're looking for in that locality or what your interest is or how many hours you've got available. We'll register with us and we'll come to you with the best opportunities for you to get involved. And it's lovely to catch up with you, Anne Hopley, the CEO of Voluntary Norfolk.